Hello everyone, I'm Ergama Witch, and Easter is just around the corner, so I thought today I was going to make a silly little tutorial on giving yourself bunny ears. So, if you want to be a bunny for Easter or any time, um, that's what we're going to do. Also, don't mind all these materials. I can't delete them. I cannot delete them, so we're going to have to reuse some of them. But anyways, uh, first thing we're going to do is add a freehand group. We're going to change the highlight, not the highlight position, what am I doing? Um, the fit head Z all the way down on the guide perimeters, like that. And I'm going to change the height to all the way down. And I'm going to take these top three and just duck them into the head, like so. And then I'm going to make sure the mirror mode's on. Grab these and just pull them straight up. It's a lot like my uh, cat ear and ear and tail video, but you know. All right, let's see, how tall do I want my ears? I'm gonna get taller. Yeah. Mm, I can go like that. That's good. That's where my ears are gonna be. Uh, I'm going to turn the mirror mode off, and I'm going to take this back part, and I'm just going to pull this out just so I can reach inside this grid without that being in the way, because basically we can only draw on the inside. So now I take my brush, and I'm going to grab whatever the hell texture this is, and it doesn't matter at this point because I'm going to fix it later, and I'm going to change my cross section to... let's do... A triangle and I'm gonna change it to a straight. And I'm gonna kind of make this a very almost straight line. Kind of like that. So it's like a, a slight arch and then it drops down because this is like the half cut of the ear and, and we can change it later. And then I'm just gonna whoops what I'm gonna do is remember to turn my mirror mode back on and then just zip straight up, and those will be eventually my ears. I'm going to turn my mirror mode back off real quick, and I'm just going to kind of adjust where I want these ears to be. I'm going to pull it forward just a little bit so they have that little bit of lean forward. I need to make small ears, you make big ears, but you know, these ears. Um, and then we're going to increase the width to where I want them, which is right there. And the thickness, we want them to pull back like this. And you can't really see it because of the texture I'm using. But to give you an idea, you see how it's pulled back? It's like a little thicker. That's what we want. Um, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Let me take this and I'm just gonna kind of do little adjustments on to where I want these ears. Right behind the hair so they're not in the way. That looks good. Now let's go over to our texture uh, setting. And we find the texture that we selected. And if you don't have a texture like that you can use, because I just don't want to add a new one, just add a new texture over there. But you saw how many I have. And until v allows me to finally get rid of that shit, I just reuse the same textures. <laughs> I think it was this one. Yep, it was. Alright, and what we're going to do here is wait for it to, to, to load. Perfect. And I'm going to give myself black rabbit ears because I'm a witch. Although these are kind of more gray, so maybe just a little darker. Yeah, and we're just gonna color all this in. Like that. And one thing I should have done, which I forgot to do, is change the width of the texture, but that's fine. We, we can do it after. Um, so I turned the mirror mode back off, and I'm gonna just grab a little bit of pink 
and I'm just gonna kind of do my like stripe like this for the inside of my ear. And I'm just gonna kind of adjust this a little bit. Round off the top. Maybe zoom out a little bit. And round off this top. Maybe make this a little a little shadier in there. I don't know. Something like that. Alright, then when we're gonna come back over here. And you can like clean up these edges too. Like I would recommend cleaning them up. I'm just being a little lazy here. I'm gonna just go boop, 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 boop. Yep, all right, good enough. Um, then you go over here, back to the design, and we're gonna kind of adjust this pattern. And we're gonna change the width to, I mean, we could do zero, doesn't matter. And then we just change the offset to where you want it. So with a little bigger and bring it to where yep, like that. And same with that. And with like that. And just rotate the, the textures around the other one. I know they're like simple bunny ears, like super fucking simple. And then we can add a bone to them. Put a bone to each bunny ear. We're gonna make those a little stiffer. This one will be a little less stiff. Be the flop. I mean, it's not actually the flop, but you know. And then we can go over to pose and animation. We can see the little, little, little floppy bunny ears. Look at him, a bunny wabbit. <laughs> Um, if you wanted to add a rabbit tail, <clears throat> you can also do that too. We can, uh, go to the freehand group. I mean, I click on base hair layer and then add freehand group. Again, I removed the fit to Z head. I don't know why the hell it's there. And then I'm just going to pull this hair down. And at this point, um, this is something that we'll have to go into unity, but it's Pretty easy. We'll take this one and we'll just like shove it inside. Like so. Actually, if I shove this one inside too, so it's just a little bit. Alright, so we can make two little, two different rabbit tails. Let's find white. I know I have white in here. There we go. Um, one style would be simple and it would just be like a little curly cue like this. Just make it thick and wide. And if we really wanted to, we can even add like a twist to kind of make it look a little bit more fluffy ish. And smooth that shit out. Yeah, like that. Make it a little, a little bigger. And we can attach this to the hip bone uh, using the same tutorial I did for the tails, um, the animal ears and tails one. Or if we want a different tail, we could do this. Let's see what do we have here. I would like the fluff. Just the base of this as well, being much thicker. And we're just gonna kind of touch it up a little bit. I want this in the center of the back. We're just gonna slide it on over. And 
if we want to adjust it more, we can take down more points. Yeah, kind of like that. And if you really wanted to, you can um, fill it out a little bit more. And duplicate this layer and just like pull this out a bit more. fluffy rabbit tail. Granted mine would be black because I'm a witch but so you can see it here. Um, both these tails would have to be attached following my other tutorial which I'll put a link uh, to it in the little tab up above or maybe at the end of the video. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it. Uh, and that's how you would make cute little rabbit ears. So, uh, if you like this video, if it's helped you out, then, you know, please give it a like. And if you have the wabbit energy, then, you know, maybe subscribe. And, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I will contact you And I mean, I will, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a happy spring and happy Easter. Bye.